All right, today on Tuesday's tips, um, we are going to still work uh, with the old monster band here. We're going to work with, uh, we're, going to, we're going to hit three exercises real quick today. Uh, two of them are what we call anti-core rotation exercises. You're resisting the urge or the temptation to allow that body to rotate back uh, in, the, in the path towards the way the resistance is coming from. So you're really trying to resist that re uh, resistance. So there are two um, core exercises that we call, again, anti-core rotation exercises. The first is a pull-off press, and the second is a single arm chest press, but we're not really going for the chest press. Uh, we're going for that stabilization core work. Uh, we'll go over those two, and then the third one will be a chop. All three done with the monster van, all three uh, concentrating on the core. So um, three more core exercises to look at today. So the first one, I already have my band attached back here to the wall. I've got it attached to a machine over here, uh, vertical pole. Um, rotate just a little bit so you can see that. There you go. Uh, so you can see the band attached to the pole here in a second. But um, again, the first one we're going to look at is what we call a poloff press, or an, uh, it's just anti-core rotation. So we drive that band straight out, and we're resisting um, that 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 rotation uh, towards the path of the band. Uh, and then we'll go again to that single arm chest press. So the two two core ro anti-core rotation exercises. So the first one. So I've got my band. It's attached to the wall back here. All I'm going to do is step out, get some good resistance, bands in the center of the stomach right here, soft knees, and all we want to do is tummy tight, pressing out. So what we're going to do again is hold for about a count of five and back in. Press out, hold for about a count of five and back in. Again, what you're not wanting to do is, or what you're trying to do is resist that band trying to pull you back. So as you go out, as, as those arms extend, that band is really trying to pull you back. You're trying to work against the resistance of that band. And you're holding that guy out right there. Again, from the other side, not gonna look much different, but just so you can see. So the band is here in the center of the chest, tummy tight, soft knees, and press out. Hold for count of five and back. Not standing tall, not locking those legs out and doing it here. You wanna get down. Nice little uh, athletic stance, pressing out. Like this. Good. So that's the anti-core rotation or pull off press. And again, the second exercise we're going to go over, which is anti-core rotation, is just a single arm chest press or single arm press, resisting again that band trying to turn those shoulders in the path of the band. So we're getting out. Nice stance here. And we're going to press straight out, tummy tight, a little pause, back. Here, out, again, not going for a, bu a bunch of pack work, but all we're doing is working that core, trying to resist the temptation of that band to pull you and rotate you in that direction. Press out, tummy tight, nice and solid, body shouldn't move. Here, press, and out, hold. Again, got my band attached over here to a vertical pole, something you gotta hold, basketball goal, a tree. Again, same concept, so I'm here, same exact exercise, press out and hold, boom. Again, trying to resist being pulled towards that band. Left arm will look exactly the same, coming out, press right there. Again, I don't want to lean too much into the exercise. I want the core to stabilize the spine there and out. So that's your two anti-core rotation uh, exercises. And then the third one is a chop. So um, what we do with the chop, is from the back, you're going to look like it's going to look like this. So we're going to chop, hold, up, chop, hold, chop, hold, just like that. Again, I've got the band attached to the machine just a little bit higher. It changes the chop variation just a little bit, uh, not not significant, but uh, just gives you a little bit different angle to work at. And again, what that looks like is chop and pause, chop and pause. I like the little pause. Chop and hold, makes the core do the work. Tummy tight, back strong, and you're here. You're not bending over and using the back and the hips. Tummy tight, chop and hold. Boom, chop and hold. There's many variations of the chop. That's just one I like to use for the core where you're actually chopping and hold, really using that core to stabilize that spine like, like the other two exercises. So again, 10, 15, 20 reps of those. Add those to all the other Monster Band works uh, that we've done this month. Uh, gives you a nice, complete program 
a regimen to use those monster bands with. Uh, again, and today we went over the pile-off press, straight out, hold, tummy tight. We went over that single arm press, hold, don't let that body waver. Hips always are square parallel, shoulders square pa parallel, pressing straight out. And then we're doing that chop where we're getting some contralateral work um, in that corner. So those are the three exercises for today. Check all those other videos that are here on the YouTube channel. Um, and look back, uh, you can build you a nice little uh, exercise program with or without these monster bands. Uh, again, check back next week. Uh, more videos added each week. Thanks.